Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? Mr. Neighbor here with another speed build and review. Today we're doing three sets at once. This is the triple set of mechs. We've got 75368, that's for Darth Vader. We got 75369, Boba Fett, and 75370 this is the Stormtrooper mech. You guys know the rules for the speed build. Um, the moment the first one is open, the timer starts and I have to finish all the steps in the instruction booklets of all three right after one another. And we will get another world record time for these speed builds. And then at the end, we will look at some of the figures and the parts of the set and some of my thoughts of the build and the sets themselves. Now let's go ahead and get straight into the build. Well, we've done it guys. We finished building the three mechs all one after another in 38 minutes and three seconds. Not bad, a, a, a little faster than I thought we were gonna do. I was looking at a uh, 45 minutes or something, 15 minutes per. But let's go ahead and look at the minifigures and the actual Astro mechs for each one of these guys. Not Astro mechs, mech suits. Astro mech is R2D2. Let's check these guys out. So Darth Vader here has the cape and his two part helmet. You got the bottom part, which is sits under the minifigure head and the top part. And he does have the white printed headpiece. Sometimes he's got nougat, this time it's white and it's got printing on the back as well. And one of his lightsabers, you actually, you actually get two hilts in this set for him. Next up, we've got Boba Fett. Uh, he's got a new print, I believe. He has arm printing. He comes with his jetpack uh, torso. I don't know if his torso print is the same, but he also has his printed face, and it looks like he has back print on his head as well. His helmet also has some scuffs and stuff. I don't know if we've seen this helmet before. I think we have, but it also comes with the rangefinder, and he comes with one of his guns. And this is a female Stormtrooper. She comes with a double molded helmet, one of the newer designs. The torso and the legs for this figure we've actually seen before, and the head is probably just a generic female face, but that helmet is one of the newer ones, and it is probably one of my favorite Stormtrooper head molds. Now the mechs themselves, they each have their own kind of defining pieces and colors, obviously colors, but for the Darth Vader, you kind of get these stylized, sleek sort of pieces for the arms and the legs. They kind of come to a point, and um, he's, I'd say, a lot more symmetrical than the other two. And um, I'd say that my favorite part was just making the lightsaber, just seeing, you know, how like different it is, and it like it, it seems a lot more like realistic in terms of scale. It's cool seeing a giant lightsaber for a mech. These centerpieces, which each one of them get, is a cool addition because they are printed and it's not a sticker. So that's a very nice uh, thing to add for these guys here. Now, he doesn't really have anything in the back, unlike some, unlike a uh, Boba Fett, which we'll see in a little bit, but this is a nice one. In terms of build, uh, I'd say he, it wasn't a bad build, I didn't have any problems with any of them, but he was probably my least favorite in terms of the three. After that, we had Boba Fett. I really enjoyed his build, specifically the jetpack section. I just liked seeing it come together. You got the giant missile and all the little pieces come together for a giant uh, jetpack. So you have the jetpack on his minifigure and on the mech. Now his gun, um, it's... It's interesting. It's nothing, you know, crazy. It doesn't really scream Boba Fett at me, especially because the Stormtrooper also has something slightly similar, but you also got this chest piece as well. And, uh, you know, you get these sand colored pieces, which I really like that color. And, um, but in terms of build, 
his jetpack was probably the best thing. Everything else was kind of okay. Nothing too crazy on this guy here. And the Stormtrooper, it's funny because I had the lowest expectations for the Stormtrooper. And, you know, in terms of, like, the figure and, like, in general, the, the set itself, it's not, like, the best looking thing ever. But I actually really enjoyed the build process because it was the most unique of the three. Um, the legs, you know, they don't skip leg day. Look at these arms and legs. They're super buff. And then they have a unique left and right foot for this guy. Well, for the Stormtrooper mech, the other two, they were exactly the same on both sides for both the, uh, the legs and the feet. And then you do have the Imperial logo here, here on the center. And then you get these little side clips for blasters that you can put the guns on. And then as you see, like I said, you got buff arms right here. And then the gun, I actually like a little more than Boba Fett's. So this was actually my favorite build of the three. But uh, in terms of minifigures, I'd say Boba Fett was probably my favorite. And I really like the jetpack aspect. Also, they didn't do anything for the back of the uh, Stormtrooper, which I'm kind of disappointed in. But they did do a lot of detail and uh, they put a lot of thought into the actual build for the entire mech. So personally, especially at the price point, I think these are a pretty fun build, especially, you know, if you're just going to give one away as a small present to someone. It's a nice uh, distraction. You know, you get to build for a couple minutes at a time and you do come. It, they each come with a pretty nice minifigure. None of them, I feel, are lacking in any aspect. They didn't throw you some random one. Even the Stormtrooper has that unique uh, double mold for the helmet so i do think and as well i think that the build for the stormtrooper makes up for the less valuable minifigure what do you think if you had to get only one of these which one would you choose let me know and also let me know what i should be building next and what set you want to see me hit a new world record for as always thank you for watching and i'll see you all on the next one